let's examine the component tendons of the common flexor origin. There are of course multiple and we can start with a transverse sweep if you're new to this over the ulnar nerve and over the ulna and course up the flexor carpi ulnaris. It has a distinct appearance when you're in the proximal forearm because it has two heads. So you'll see those heads overlying the ulnar nerve and the humeral head is the one that arises from the medial epicondyle just posterior to the epicondylar ridge. So you'll see a little ridge on the medial epicondyle just there and behind that is our FCU. So if we're now in longitudinal but quite oblique we fall onto the FCU just overlying this semilunar area which is deep to the ligament and there's flexor carpi ulnaris. Then we move anteriorly and we fall onto the central third of the common flexor tendon and at this point the tendon is quite layered and that's due to its multiple origins but also because there may or may not be a palmaris longus tendon overlying. So the palmaris longus tendon fibers also blend in with the anterior third of the common flexor tendon which is flexor carpi radialis. So this is where most of the pathology occurs. We can see a triangular muscle there overlying FDS and palmaris longus fibers may blend in here. So now as we move up towards the humerus, we lose that semi, uh, semilunar area and we fall onto the muscular pronator teres. This is the humeral origin. So we also include this in any examination of medial epicondylar pain. We can use it as a, a landmark or a stepping stone to the common flexor tendon examination. So here we are from anterior to posterior, FCR, and then we move on to the central third. This is now FDS. And now we move posteriorly towards the electronon and we can tilt in from that posterior aspect to fall onto the flexor carpi ulnaris. Now underneath our FCU, if we oblique the probe, we can see the anterior band of the UCL spanning the ulnotrochlea joint. And that ligament there is the main stabilizer against valgus stress. So there's stress ultrasound tests that can be performed there. And as you can see, there's a broad common flexor origin in transverse. It's a conjoint tendon, so all the fibers blending together, but there's definitely an anterior, a central, and a posterior third to that tendon.